Okay guys, that's my LEDs. And I'm, that's going on to the 12 volt supply of 2.2 volts each, which they draw in 0.02 milliamps. So to get to work out in the ohms, I take the 12 volt, subtract the 4.4 volts I'm using, it means I've got 7.6 volts of wasted power. So you put your 7.6 divided by 0 to 0, which will give me 380 ohms. Or if you want to, the 7.6 times 0 to 0 will give me 0 0.152 watts. So I've got to use a 470 ohm resistor, half watt. So I hope this helps. Cheers. I've also done myself a drawing because we'll show you how I'm going to wire it all up. The dwarf signals will go to pin 1 and 8 on the tortoise and also the pin 1 and 8 will go to my double pole double throw switch into the two centres. Then the LEDs will come into the two centres as well. Then I'll have my terminal strips to go to the bottom two. And my transformer which will go to the two terminal strips. I was trying to look on the computer for a for a sketch like this, but I could never see him with the terminal strips, so I thought I'd do my own. So that's how I'm going to wire it up. G'day guys, I thought I'd do another video on wiring my bipolar leads, LEDs. And they're both red and green in each one. So I'm going to use them from the control panel. So I'll have a red and green so you know which way you're going. I'll be using a half watt resistors. It's a, a bezel. Plastic plug to hold the LED in the bezel. Obviously my tortoise switch. And the dwarf single. using two terminal strips, a double pole double throw switch, two wires and the transformer which is a one amp transformer and some sh shrink tube. Now the LEDs, you'll notice that uh, you've got the long leg and short leg. The way I'm going to wire these up is the positive, which is the long leg, will have the resistor. And the negative, I'm going to wire a piece of wire to the other negative, so I'm joining the two negatives up. And then the positive will also go to the power. So I'm going to wire them up. So I've wired my leads now. So this is positive, negative. It's just the shrink tubing. And back to negative. So the two negatives join together. Then I'll have me negative and positive to the terminal strip, which will go via the adapter. And the terminal strips are already wired up. So all the bottom ones will be feeding all my LEDs, how many I need. And because my 12 volt pack 
one amp, which is a thousand milliamps, I could have about 50 leads connected. So now I'll connect the power pack to the terminal strip now. Now I've also wired my connector for my torches and pins 1 and 8. This will go to the double pole, double throw switch. And also connects up to the torches. Now all I've got to do is wire everything to the double pole, double throw switch. Now I'm going to connect the dwarf signal to pins 1 and 8. doesn't matter which way you go, depending on... If you go to pin 1 and 8, if it lights up red and you want it to go green, you just reverse it. But I'm going to buy that now. Okay guys, and now I'm going to wire up the double pole, double throw switch. And I've got the wire from the terminal strip, which has to go from the left to the top right. And then the other one will be from the right to the top left. So I'll just wire that now. So I've now wired uh, negative and positive from the terminal strips. The yellow wire goes to the bottom right, to the top left. The other wire goes from the bottom left to the top right. Now all I'm going to do now is wire the the Torta switch machine, which is pins 1 and 8, which will go to both centres, 1, 2. So I'll do that now too. So pins 1 and 8 is now connected to the two centres. The LED strips I'm also going to connect to you can either connect to the two centers or you go into the wires doesn't matter what you do but at this point I'm going to put it to the two centers so now I've got to two LEDs join into the center as well with the tortoise, so when the tortoise switch machine turns it will change the polarity to green and red which we'll have a look there's no 
notice it's red and green. Notice the green will turn red when I change it. And the red will go back to green. And so Okay guys, now this is what it will look like when I put it on the board with the bezels on. And there's the dwarf signal. So now I should switch it and <coughs> they all should change. Now this is how I do it, not how you should do it. Thanks for watching guys.